Guys, I am excited because I have a snake that I have never actually messed with in person, but these are absolutely incredible. Probably one of the most sought after snakes on the internet when it comes to pictures, certainly are the what they call the blue insularis. So these guys are actually a white lip island pit viper. So they're very closely related to the white lip pit viper, but these guys actually are from like the Java area of Indonesia. They can also be found on the islands of Komodo and they are a blue viper. I mean, how incredible is this? This is just a little tiny baby right here. We actually have two of them. A friend of mine stopped by and they wanted to show me both of them and they are incredible. I mean, just, you know, picture after picture on the internet, even on our podcast, we talk about Insularis all the time because they're one of the coolest and most incredible animals you'll ever see. I mean, just think about a blue snake like this. As this gets bigger it'll get even more and more blue the thing that's interesting is the white lip pit viper is basically a green snake and actually even the insularis can sometimes be green as well so sometimes you'll get green animals sometimes you'll get the blue animals but the blue ones like this are absolutely ridiculous and believe that there's even a couple insular islands that they'll be yellow which is pretty darn awesome now these guys are venomous so that's why I've got it on the hook and I have to be a little bit safe these guys are a little venomous that's why I have them on the hook and stuff like that but they're actually hematoxic so they basically have a kind of a, a nasty bite where you'll have a lot of pain, swelling, bleeding, some necrosis, stuff like that, like rotting of skin and so like that. The good news is, is that they're not really terribly venomous. So there's really been no deaths with these guys unless you have some kind of anaphylactic shock. But nevertheless, we definitely don't want to get bit by something like this because it would definitely ruin our day. And even something as small as this could pump you with enough venom, that would be pretty bad. So we're going to definitely stay away from the pokey end, if you know what I mean. But nevertheless, blue and Solaris, they're iconic. I mean, literally, when it comes to venomous snakes in absolute absolutely incredible snakes. Blue and Solaris are kind of like, it's like that gem, right? And the fact is right now they're actually considered least concerned, so they're not endangered, but the problem is there is some smuggling of these guys because they're in such high demand and there's not a lot of captive ones like this one. So a lot of times what ends up happening is people smuggle them out of Indonesia, even off of the Komodo Islands, and then they bring them in and then ship them over. So they actually need to be really thought about because we don't want that to ever happen to where they go from least concern to say Appendix 1 or Appendix 2 endangered, right? We want these guys to be around for a long time because they are absolutely incredible but listen guys I mean a blue snake that's right blue snake again these are called insularis the white lip island pit viper and oh my goodness they are incredible and by the way welcome to the vlog reptile army I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible of course we have this design here that I didn't show you yesterday it's one of my favorites for absolutely I, you know, I've seen some things you know what I mean and of course we have sleeveless now we have v-necks now uh, just to kind of keep you guys happy so go to reptilearmy.com join the movie Movement, be a part of the reptile army. I'm taking out Lieutenant Dan or whatever his name is, our legless lizard here at the Reptarium. He's actually doing really good right now. Okay, there you have it, Lieutenant Dan. Dad. We're not naming it Lieutenant Dan. I don't care what we name it. Will you just look at me hold it? You're so proud of yourself, aren't you? Are you proud of me? I'm so proud, so proud. There's never been a prouder moment in my life. Wow, this, this is moving. <laughs> He's, okay. He's a puppy dog. Look at you can pet him on the face. Look at. Ooh. Ooh. Look at. See. Wow. It actually is really good. Why am I so scared of it? See. Oh. 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 <laughs> he's just moving. Okay. He's just moving. He's not doing. It. He's just moving. That's what living animals do. Yeah. So this is my buddy Jason that actually brought us the Insularis. And I tell you what, guys, this is amazing. I mean, it's like, yeah. it's kind of like the dream animal, right? Oh yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, God, so sure. where did you get these guys? So I actually got these from a buddy of mine named Alexander England. They're actually captive breads. I was looking for them for a long time, like a year or so, and I finally came across a nice pair. So I picked them up. Oh my gosh, they are amazing. I tell you, out of all of the venomous snakes, I think the Insularis are the ones that, like you said, everyone gets the, like, oh my God, Insularis, is this, but you don't see captive ones very often. Yeah. So it's a treat to get these guys going for sure. Right, right. And you mentioned the ones from uh, Wetar Island, the yep. yellow ones. Yep. I know my buddy Alex is actually working with wow. those too, and there's only five in the U.S. Oh my God. known. So if he can get some captive breads of those, I'll definitely pick them oh up and bring them in. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Yeah, again, it looks just like this, but they're yellow. And I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. And then my buddies over in South Africa at Ultima Reptile Supply actually work with the white lip pit vipers that are albino. So, you know, they've got the greens and the albinos, which are absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so it's super insane. cool. They produced baby albinos last year. So uh, it's the first time anyone had ever produced albinos that I know of anyway. So nevertheless, uh, absolutely incredible animals. And I can't, I mean, I can't thank you enough, dude. 
dude. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a link in the description to his Instagram. Go show him some love. Uh, we'll definitely have him on the podcast sometime, hang out. Uh, and you're local, so we got to hang yeah. out more. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is sure. awesome. So sure. as these guys get bigger, you'll bring them back? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I tell you what, guys. Blue and Solaris absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and stick with that blue theme just like that in Solaris and we're going to actually cut a clutch of eggs that is actually a lorry ball to a lorry ball. You know the super lorry balls have that blue and silver look to them so we have two, four, six eggs. A couple eggs actually have already pipped out. I can't see what's inside them yet so let's just cut into them and hope we can get some blue and silver snakes. Let's jump into egg number one. Come on blue and silver. Come on, come on. Again you got one in four odds to produce a super. So we'll see what happens. Oh, that's not good. That's a normal baby right there. That's not a lorry or a super lorry. We breed a lorry to lorry. It's about a one in four odd to get a normal. So uh, let's go the other way with the odds, all right? Egg number two. And I can kind of see inside this egg a little bit because it's already slit. And it didn't look like a super lorry to me, but it is a lorry ball python. So at least we got a lorry ball python, but we still haven't hit that blue and silver snake. Uh, again, we have four more eggs, less Hope and pray we get, I want to get two blue and silver. Is that greedy of me? Let's just see what we get. I'm on baby, right now, this is it. This is the blue and silver, baby. I can just feel it, you can feel it. No, it's not. Oh, jeez. Oh, yo, this is another normal ball python. Ah, this is what I want. We've got three eggs left, guys. That's not good luck. We've got two normals already, so we're hitting the one in four odds, but on the wrong side. Oh my God, let's just go ahead. All right, let's, three more eggs. Wish me luck, guys. Start, boom, boom. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go again. We got a lorry ball python. So, so far we got oh, two lorries, two normals, two eggs left. That means I gotta be two super lorries, right? Let's even this baby out, you know what I mean? All right, let's go. I'll be so bummed if we don't get a blue and silver snake after seeing the Insularis. Come on. Oh, another lorry ball python. So there goes my chances of producing two blue and silver snakes, but we have one more egg. One egg to go. Let's end this with the super lorry. Come on! All right, it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen right now. Blue and silver snake, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. It is! Oh my gosh, we hit it! Woohoo, doggy! So we only got one blue and silver snake, but we did get a super lorry, blue and silver. Look at that monkey right there. That thing is absolutely a ripper. It's got a beautiful dorsal striping on it. There it is. So hey, man, I tell you what, uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied, right? We got a bunch of lorries, we got some normals, and we got a super lorry ball python. So uh, hey, it all ended well. What the heck, if we're sticking with blue animals like the blue Insularis, and then of course we got the super lorry ball. I mean, what? this is a great day. So karma certainly fits in that blue category. I don't think there's a more blue reptile, to be totally honest with you, than karma. Of course, this is a locality in Madagascar called nosy bee and the nosy bees are always this blue color right there's some other ones like nosy phala that are blue and red but these guys are the ones that are really blue and I tell you he is an absolute stunner every person that comes into the reptarium is like oh my gosh and I'd really like to know why every locality in Madagascar has a different colored chameleon I think it's pretty amazing I mean obviously the ambulombies look completely different than the nosy bees and so on and like that I'm assuming it's got to have something to do with like the flora in the area so so these guys can actually blend in and chameleon because again chameleons can't change dramatic colors like people think they're not like an octopus or you know something like that they're actually will lighten and darken so karma will go like light blue dark blue almost even a little bit of a greenish hinge but he's not going to turn like yellow or red or any of that color he just doesn't have that ability and i know a lot of people think chameleons do but they actually don't so regardless uh this is pretty cool to see a blue animal after we're making it the day of blue reptiles you know Lori's always getting new stuff for the gift shop this is like her baby and I just noticed we have the what wait a second that's not a that's not a gift shop Steve Franklin what are you doing in there Franklin get out of there I tell you what these turtles I tell you they're escaping every day I'm gonna have to probably put a lock on their enclosure because I tell you what, they're all over the place so let's get Frank Franklin get over here you silly monkey uh, uh, Franklin okay buddy be free Laura in her gift shop. Definitely not a blue animal, but kind of a greenish blue animal. And you know what? 
it never ceases that these guys will bite you every time I take them out. I've been trying to get them tame. I just try to be like, hey, little monkey, it's okay. But no, it's go ahead and it's going to hang on to me for the next 10 or 15 minutes. I guarantee it. Thankfully, it doesn't really hurt that bad. But these are actually Gastrophilus persinus, or what they would call green keel belly lizard. That's why people just call them Gastrophilus persinus. It's actually easier than the common name. These guys are actually native to Tanzania and Kenya, and they do have that kind of bluish color to them. There's no doubt about it. But the thing that's amazing is look at that tail right there. Yeah, this guy will just hang on just like that. It's about 70% of their body. This is about maybe you know halfway grown, so they will get a little bigger. And I'm imagining that when they get bigger, the bite's gonna hurt a little bit more. So again, we tried to tame these guys down, and I swear to gosh, I don't wanna get bit by this animal, but every single time that I take any of them out, they immediately bite me, and they just keep crunching down. You see how he goes like, ah, He's just going down, but this is an absolutely beautiful lizard. There is no doubt about it. Again, kind of that bluish color, so we're sticking with the bluish theme today. So I'm gonna show you some blue animals, and I couldn't think of a cooler animal than these Gastrophilus persinus, but holy moly, these guys love to hang on. They're like the little token Okay, geckos, man. I tell you, as a matter of fact, if I had toe geckos, that's another blue animal I wish I had, but I don't have any because I was sick of getting bitten by them. But uh, I tell you what, uh, let me know down in the comments what your favorite blue animal is because I would like to know, and uh, hopefully I can get this little monkey off my hand sometime today. Molly's still still very timid around people, but he's mad food aggressive, so it's like nothing at all to get him to come out. Every now and then he'll let me pet him, but I can tell he's not too fond of it. <laughs> so I try to give him a lot of space if I can, but. He's definitely one I've been trying to work with pretty hard. Good boy. There you go, get your food. We don't always feed, obviously, uh, just red beet and beef and, and things like that. Typically we'll feed like fish and other things like that for him. But red beef is, is, is still full of lots and lots of nutrients and I do try to do a uh, very, very little amount. Ready, you want more? Now what a lot of people don't really realize with a lot of these lizards is a lot of them actually will hold it in their gullet almost, kind of like a bird does. Just in case if there's ever a reason for them to want to run, they're not running on a full stomach, which would be bad for them to make them sick. So they'll just immediately just throw up what's in their gullet and go and run. There you go. There you go. Oh yeah, there you go. Of course, you guys know we've got Argomus Prime, the Argus monitor. We've had this for a long time. Absolutely wonderful animal. But remember, we got those baby Argus monitors. We haven't really showed them in the vlog at all, and they're getting really big. They're still a little bit crazy, so let's give a go at seeing if we can actually get these guys out. Because trust me, they are a fun, fun lizard. Uh, chance I might be chasing these guys around on the floor, to be honest with you. I don't know where they're at right now. So at first, I gotta find them. I try to get them. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, it actually went pretty well. It went, oh, it went pretty well. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are, at, whoa, these are really beautiful. Oh my gosh, come on, calm down. I'm hoping that once I get it out and calm it down a little bit, it'll chill out. But Argus monitors, woo, are kind of a mid-sized monitor. They don't get huge like Elvis, but they get relatively sizable like Argus Prime. That's about a full-grown adult, to be totally honest with you. But these guys are getting so big, and they're from northwestern Australia and southern New Guinea. The thing that these guys are known for probably more than anything is what they call tripoding, which is pretty cool. These Argus monitors will actually go up on their back leg, lean on their tail, and stand straight up almost like a prairie dog or something like that. And they do that so they can look over the grasslands that they're actually from to see everything. And it's kind of unique to them. Some monitors will tripod, but Argus monitors in particular are known for it more than anything. But you can see this guy's already starting to chill out just a little bit, but it is one beautiful monitor lizard. And again, these guys are both getting really large. There's a pair of these ones. Of course, these are Noah's little babies, but uh, I had to take them out and show you guys because wow. They are looking beautiful. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I do appreciate you. If you don't mind, here is a playlist on this side. Could you hit a couple videos for me on this side? You could do me another favor and subscribe to this vlog channel. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.